All right, so let's start from the top, boys. Uh, so let's see. I'm gonna rep I'm gonna uh, use goblins as a proxy for uh, mono red. Is Gates on here? Uh, they don't have Gates on here, so I guess let's see. What should we use for Gates? Uh, I mean, Bully's a real deck. This Jeskai Affinity, we'll call that Gates. Alright, so I put Gates S tier. I think Gates is the best deck. Honestly, I think Gates is just the best deck. It's just like, it just has insane, blue eye Gates, that's what I'm talking about. It just has insane sustain with the Cats, the Hawks, the Brainstorms, good card advantage for the low low, not expensive at all, and then insane inevitability with Bass Gates. Uh, yeah, so I think that deck is absolutely insane. Very, very strong. Uh, basically impossible to outgrind. Only ways to really consistently beat it is to just like sort of go over the top with blue eyed fams or uh, just literally like kill all of their cats with like lava darts or shit like that or kill them really fast with blitz. So I'd say the other best deck, the second best deck, I would say is mono red called Dotha. I think this deck is actually really, really, really strong. And I think it's deserving of the S tier position here, boys. Because uh, it's just insanely powerful. It is able to basically have like the speed of burn deck. Uh, and the sort of non-interaction that that brings. Where it's just like, I'm going to burn you in the face. Yeah, just got affinity. We're calling the gates. The blue-white gates. Um, and then goblins. We're calling Koldotha red. Uh, yeah, so it's able to just have the speed and the non-interactiveness of burn where you can just send all your burn spells upstairs and there's nothing you can do about it. But the thing that really sets this deck apart is, uh, that it can grind. It has, like, basically eight divination effects with the, uh, four synthesizers and four reckless impulse. Just lets you grind out into the late game and then... Another reason why it's better than burn is because it, it actually gets used board pressure. So it gets to like make goblins uh, attack with fucking um, Voldemort Epicures. Uses Swift Spear really good. And then it's able to finish you off with burn spells. I think this deck is extremely powerful. Hey, thanks for the sub Vidal Elias. <laughs> Can't wait to see sisters on S tier. Okay, so I think those are the best two decks in the format, honestly. And then I guess going into the next tier, we'll have Demir Delver. We call this the Talarian Terra Demir deck. I think this deck is pretty good. Uh, I think it has a good matchup against Mono Red. Uh, maybe even a good matchup against both the top two decks. But I guess this matchup is probably a lot closer. The versus Gates. Um, but it, it can have definitely pretty insane bust, busted draws, uh, with, like, turn three, multiple five fives. Um, yeah, so that, I think that deck is pretty strong. And then, definitely, we gotta have Affinity in here. Affinity is really good, uh, you know, I mean, it's just, like, it's, like, basically, like, the Jund, if you guys are familiar with Modern. It's basically, like, the Jund of Popper. It's just always gonna be there. Oh, it's really hard to hate out. It's just fucking... Just perma grinds. Uh, and it's OP. What else we got? Uh, so we can probably put Blue Delver next. Let me see. Yeah, I think Blue Delver's next. Um, Blue Delver, like the Fairies deck, we'll call it Fairies, I don't know why they call it Delver, uh, but it's, it's very strong deck, it can, uh, out-tempo, like, the Gates deck, I think it can actually be pretty reasonable against the Gates deck, um, it does have a hard time dealing with Cat, but, you know, Spell Stutter can just really mess people's day up with the ninjas, you get a ninja going, it's, uh, pretty hard to come back from that. And then I think I would put Blitz in the A tier as well. Let me see. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I would put Blitz in the A tier. It's a, it's a very strong deck. It uh, definitely exerts a lot of pressure on the format. You have to be packing, like, a lot of blue blasts, or at least, like, some ways to... You have to have a plan for Blitz, or else you're gonna get turn 3 all the fucking time. Uh, so, yeah. A lot of decks are playing um, many copies of blue or Hydro Blast to sort of counter that. Uh, and then I would put probably Familiars here. Uh, I guess I'm not sure, like, how, how the order would go in this. But definitely, like, Familiars. Is it phase for sure in there? What else is there? I guess the mere phase on here is... I mean, I, I kind of put these two decks together, but... Yeah, we can put that up there. It's a pretty good deck. Familiar's Blitz. Is it Faye? Yeah, I mean, I guess... Is it Faye is probably better than, like... Blitz and Familiar's. Thanks for falls S. Gilo 11. I would say, is it, is it Faye is probably better... It's actually probably better than uh, Blue Delver 2. Yeah, maybe, maybe these decks are actually, like, a tier below... I think this is probably how it ends up actually being. Uh, maybe you could put Bully here, or... Yeah. I don't know. I feel like Bully's not on the same level as those decks, though. I guess I'd probably put Bully at, like, at the top of the, uh... This one. Let's call this, like, Tier 1.5. Because I don't think it's really, like, as bad as, like, the Tier 2 decks... Uh, and then I think we can have, like, what is the other deck that I was missing? I think I was thinking maybe Monarch. Not, not really Boros Monarch, but, like, Boros Skyfisher. Say Mono U Delver is actually almost S tier TBH. Yeah, maybe, maybe Mono U Delver could go up in, in this tier. I don't think it's S tier, because I think, like, I don't know. I feel like it probably has a hard time versus these two decks. Like, I think these two decks are just, like, way better than everything else. I think those two decks are OP. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so we're gonna have Delver there. And then I guess let's, let's use this for, like, Skyfisher decks. I think Skyfisher decks probably hang out around here. Of course, Kaget is the best you built it. <laughs> Kek W. Uh, oh, thanks for fall utterly flabbergasted. Um, and then I guess like Cycling Storm probably. I don't have much experience with Cycling Storm, but it probably hangs out around here too. What else is there? Yeah, I mean that's basically all the decks that are like real decks from here. So, like, the rest of these decks are, like, pretty... Tr oh, I guess Ponza. Ponza is probably, like... Pon I think Ponza's a cut below these decks. So, I'd probably put Ponza there. Like, Mono Black, Dog Shit. Sliver's Dog Shit. Midrange Pestilence. I guess this is probably... Like, all the Pestilence decks are probably around here, too. They're, like, not as Dog Shit as this shit, but... They're definitely not great. Heroic is probably over here, too. Like, it's okay. It's not that bad. Turbo Fog's probably around here, too. Tribe is probably, Tribe's probably down here, Loki. Uh, Elves probably down here. Walls is probably up here. Soul Sisters down here. Mogwarts is not having a good time. Rainbow Fams, I put Rainbow Fams up here actually, but you know I'm a little bit of a, I'm a little bit of a freak. I guess Bogles can be like up here. It's not that bad. It's pretty good. Uh, and I, I like, I don't even. These decks are not even real decks, man. Burn is fucking dog shit here. Uh, yeah, so this is this is what I would do. This is what I would call the tier list here, boys. Reminder, this is uh, a stand-in for Gates. This is a stand-in for uh, Koldotha Red. I guess we can use like this to stand in for like the mono blue terror deck. I think that is a pretty real deck. I mean, this is dog shit here.
Uh, yeah. Tribe is legit. You think Tribe is legit? I get, I mean, I don't know. I don't have much experience with Tribe. I guess I'll leave it off because I don't. I haven't seen it like at all. Um. Trying to see sisters be on the dog shit. Yeah, unlucky. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's gonna be our tier list, I think. Oh, I, I guess wait, what was I gonna do? I was gonna use this to represent uh Tolarian Terra Mono Blue. I think that deck's probably around here. It's not like super good, but it's definitely not bad. I think it could it could get refined more and it could be could be decent. Yo, Griffin MTG. I'm sorry, bro, but I think after uh playing some domain yesterday, it's gonna be down here in the dog shit tier. <laughs> <laughs> all right but thanks for watching boys that is gonna be our tier list i'll screen cap that post it on twitter get some clicks